How's it going, guys? It is the next big thing, Magnaphone, and I'm afraid I can't let you do that. So today we're going to be talking about something that has been kind of covered in other videos, but not so much what I'm going to do today. There's a bunch of other videos that I might link in the description if I can find them that show how to avoid fake listings on eBay or Amazon or other sites that might try to scam you into buying fake Beyblades or just may not even sell Beyblades at all. But this is going to be uh, more about how to identify fake Beyblades if you already have them for some reason. So just to review the tips for avoiding uh, scams on eBay or Amazon or other places to buy Beyblades online first is... Uh, first of all, just avoid any price that looks too good to be true, because it probably is. Um, next off, make sure you look under the seller's name for their reputation or their rating. If it's a super low number, then they're probably not a real listing. If the listing has images of fake Beyblades, then that's also a red flag. Um, make sure the listing says Takara Tomi in the name, or, or Takara Tomi or Hasbro, otherwise it may be fake. And that's really about it for just avoiding all of the telltale signs of a fake listing. But anyways, if you somehow ended up with a fake Beyblade anyways, if you bought one of those, um, a good way to check to see if you still have the box is to see whether it has the Takara Tomy or the Young Toys or the Hasbro logo on it. If it does not, then it's fake. There's a bunch of other things like Bet Blade or S3, or um, Storm Euro, I don't even remember. There's so many fake brands in Burst now, I can't keep them all straight. But uh, the way to tell on the parts that you already have, so first of all, on the layer or the energy layer, normal Takara Tomi or Hasbro ones are gonna have a tri-wing screw, which is a screw with like three a triangle-shaped star in it, as opposed to a Phillips head screw, which is the, the cross-headed one that you see in most, like, probably the most common screw you'll probably see. Uh, if it has one of the, if it has a Phillips head screw, it's fake. If it has a tri-wing screw, or in some cases, like, a metal rivet with no way to remove it by a screwdriver, then that's real, but the Phillips head screwdrivers are fake. For discs, they're a bit harder to tell, just because, uh, especially with the burst fakes, they're getting so realistic. They're, the weights are pretty accurate, so that's not going to help too much. The discs aren't really hollowed out either. The best way to tell is sometimes the fake discs won't have the star markings on them or any of the uh, product code numbers. So like sometimes occasionally you'll see like a one or a three on the bottom of your disc. But the fakes don't have that. Um, and usually they don't have as smooth the finish as real discs. So if your disc kind of feels rough, then it's probably a fake or if um, the metal doesn't seem to oxidize and stay shiny for a long time, that's also a good sign that it's fake. And last but not least is the driver or the performance tip. So the normal ones for Hasbro or Takara Tomy will have uh, two rivets on the bottom on either side of the driver. These don't have any kind of like indentation or groove or marking. There's no way to remove them without destroying the driver. And for the fakes, they have the Phillips head screws, again, with the cross-shaped indentation that are easy to screw out. Uh, if your driver has any of the Phillips head screws, it's a fake. And the last thing I'm going to cover is launchers and other accessories. Because uh, those are also getting pretty accurate to the real products as well. So most Takara Tomy or Hasbro products, I'm, I'm not sure about Hasbro, but I know Takara Tomy for sure. Those are manufactured in Vietnam, so if you see like little embossed writing on it that says Takara Tomy or Hasbro or made in Vietnam, then that's probably legit. The fakes tend to say made in China on them, and that's not where the Burst Beyblades are manufactured. So if it has either of those, then that's likely a fake as well. So overall, uh, I hope this video has been helpful in identifying any fake Beyblades parts or other launchers or other accessories that you may already have. Uh, just so you know, these fake parts cannot be used in the tournament. No fake launchers. You can't. You can only use the official Takara Tomy or Hasbro gear in the WBO tournaments. So uh, 
they are getting pretty hard to tell apart, but hopefully this video was helpful in helping you identify what's fake and what's real.